going to show you how to insert a SIM card as well as double check the mobile settings on your Samsung Galaxy A53. So the first thing is uh, we need to go ahead and eject this uh, SIM tray right here. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your SIM ejection tool. It does come right out of your box. You can see it right there. If you don't have that laying around, you can use a different phone SIM ejection tool. You can even use like a uh, a thin um, paper clip or bobby pin, even the back of a stud earring, as long as the needle is like thin and kind of long. Okay, anyway, so I got my SIM card right here. Here's my A53. And then what we want to do is look on the bottom of the phone, and we can see the outline of the uh, SIM tray right here. And we can see that little hole on the left side over here. Okay, not that one. Don't put it in there. Okay, that's the mud. You want to put it in here. So grab your SIM ejection tool, and I'm going to put that little needle in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press in. Okay, so as soon as I press in, the lip is going to pop out just a little bit. And now we can go ahead and just slide this out now, just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. I'm going to leave it just like this so I know exactly which way to put it back in. So I'm going to hold it like this. Now you can see the tray here. You see a diagonal slit on the top right hand side. So that's exactly how I want to put it in. So the metal contact is going to be up. You can't get this wrong. You can only put it in one way. So I got the diagonal slit in the top right hand side. I'm going to put it in just like this. I'm going to press in until I hear a little snap. Okay, now it should be flush. If I turn it over, it should not fall out. Now, let me go ahead and slide this in. So we're going to slide this in slowly. And this is my first time putting this SIM card into this phone. So let's pop this in there and let's see if it finds it. So it says no service right now up here. Okay. Oh, it says no service. Let's see if it found my my carrier. Okay, so now it says uh, T-Mobile here, which is my carrier here in the U.S. And I also see my reception bars. Okay. So now what I want to do... Okay, I was going to double check the mobile settings, but if you have T-Mobile in the U.S., you may get this here. It says service provider update. Your device will restart to configure features supported by the new SIM card. So if you get this message, just click on OK and go ahead and let it restart. All right, so just boot it back up here. So let me go ahead and sign in here. So we're going to check the uh, double check the mobile settings now. So what we're going to do is go to your settings. So we'll go to settings here. So I'll tap on settings and then from here I'm going to go ahead and tap on connections right up here. And then we're going to tap on mobile networks right there. And we can see, I mean for me by default they turn my data roaming on is what I want. Some of you guys may get charged for data roaming or maybe at a certain point. So anyway, but network mode here, I can see I got the 5G LTE network operators, T-Mobile. Again, that's my care in the U.S. So everything is up, ready to go. Questions or issues, comment below.